Hi, welcome to this short video on how to access the Suazarov learning materials and also some information on some other things you'll need to cover off as part of your training for your remote pilot license. My name is Joseph McMahon. I'm the Chief Remote Pilot, Chief Instructor for Suazarov, and I'm just going to show you how to access the materials. So once you log on to our website, suazarov.com.au, click on the Join the Course button at the top right hand side, then you'll need to enter your first name, last name, your phone number and your email. Click on submit and once you've submitted you will receive into your inbox a welcome to Suaz Rav and verification email. This is where just be really sure that it's the, the correct email. Click on the verification link and once you've clicked on the verification link you'll be able to log on to our website. This is the login section from our homepage. So you'll see the login button, click in there, enter your login details, and click in sign in. That will then open up your student dashboard. That will show you a tile for each of the courses you have selected. So in my case, it's the sub 7K in Melbourne on the 24th of February. So to access that course, that then shows us each of the modules for that particular course. So what we want to start with is the introduction module. So we click on select modules. That gives you an overview of all of the lessons within each module and it shows you the order that they need to be completed in. Now for students who are taking the classroom based course, we will mix and match this around a little bit. For students who are studying in their own time, we suggest that you go through the introduction module and then go through them in the order as shown here. So to access the course material at the end of the page, you'll see a green button on the right hand side, view lesson. And once you click on that, that will launch the introduction module. Welcome to the Suazrov Remote Pilot REPL course. This course can be taken at your own pace using our highly interactive e-learning platform. We trust that you will have an enjoyable and informative time with us. Note, this online learning is supported by two days of classroom-based training, where you will be prepared for the CASA exam and practical training elements of the course. In addition to, to the introduction module and accessing your course material, you'll also receive a how-to guide email, which basically outlines what we're saying in this video, that gives you all the links you need to the various areas of our website. So you will have your link to the student registration page, the link to the student ID, a link to our Google and Apple apps, which strongly recommend you download the app, which will allow you to access lessons on your smartphone or mobile device. There's also another link to the Apple App Store and you can access it there. Also within that email, you'll see there's a aviation reference number. So the ARN is essential. You must get your ARN in order to apply for your remote pilot's license. That's a CASA issued number and it's how CASA uniquely identifies you. So if you click on the link, I can take to the CASA webpage. There are two ARNs, one for an individual. So for most students, it's an individual. But if you wish to go on and get your remote operator certificate and act as a chief remote pilot for your organization, you will need to apply for an organization ARN as well. Okay. So that's everything you need to know. If you have any questions, please contact myself or one of the team at Suazrov. Thanks.